Hello everybody, Gigi here. Have you been ranking up too much lately? You're playing matches but you're just winning? Do you want to fail miserably? Well, this is the guide for you. In 10 easy steps, I can turn you from a pro player to a throw player. Warning, this guide is not a guide and you should not follow it, but enjoy the sheer stupidity. Number one, give up when things get hard. Sometimes you just don't need to do something complicated to achieve what you want. Just start a ranked match, put your controller down, and go to the bathroom. Instant defeat. Good job. Number two, DC. While this one seems obvious, having consistent internet problems can be quite hard. So here are a few tricks to make sure that you can't enjoy the game. Turn off your router. Try downloading all your Steam library while you play. Forget to pay your internet bills. But be careful not to do this too much or else you might get temporarily banned, slowing down your negative progress. So modesty is key. Number three, pick a weapon you're not good at. Have you ever tried a weapon and told yourself, wow, I suck with this weapon. I'll probably never play with this again in my life. Good. Go back with this in your highest rank mode and use that abomination. Whether it be the bamboozler, the aerospray, or a gootuber, just go with the weapon that makes you feel like your hands is pure thumbs. Fair warning. Doing this one too often might result in learning a new weapon playstyle, making you a better player. So switch frequently to confuse your brain right before you start getting good. Number 5. Play Clamblitz. Don't you just love playing a mode all about communication and teamwork in a game where you can't communicate and teamwork is not included most of the time? Me neither, so go wild. Now you might say, but GG, Clam Blitz is my best mode. W w w crap. Number six, blame everyone but yourself. Did you just lose? Great job, by the way and try to look down at your own flaws and shortcomings to become a better player and or person? Ho ho ho, calm down bucko. It's not always about learning from your past mistakes. It's all about the mess baby, love the mess, all right baby, let's go get a home run. Woo! Take all that positive energy and put it somewhere deep down in your mind where you can never access it again. And repeat after me. Oh my god, where were you guys? Oh, I can't carry all these noobs since that broken Nerf Nintendo, please. Success guaranteed. Number 7. Don't turf at all. Look, this isn't turf war, so stop trying to facilitate your team maneuverability, blocking an opponent's flank, or charging your special before a big push. Just throw one curling bomb, rush the enemy team, and then die because you have no ink to escape to. Extra points if you pick a weapon that is good at turfing while your teammates don't. Just add that extra salt to the salt shaker. Number 8. Only play on Moray Tower's rotation. Just do it! Number 9. Play something else at the same time. Don't you guys have phone? Just download, I don't know, Clash of Bloons Raid Legends and get way too invested while your team is doing their last push on overtime. Number 10. Sell your Switch. Sadly, you can't lose them all, but you can make sure that you never win again. A strange game. The only losing move is not to play. How about a nice game of chess? And here you go. Now you're probably so bad already that you didn't even realize I skipped reason number four. I'm so proud of you. Au revoir.